right, real quick, I just want to do a quick edit uh, and or disclaimer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, when you're conducting this test, be mindful uh, not to abuse it, not to do it too many times. Once you verify that the Terminator is actually commanding the solenoids to do what it's supposed to do, uh, the test is done. There's no need to keep doing it. You don't want to hurt your, your solenoid or solenoids, depending on, you know, whatever you're running. Uh, do the test, you know, get it over with, and call it done. All right? So keep that in mind. Do not say, oh, Jay at Berserker Racing destroyed my solenoids because of his test. No, I'm letting you know right now, there's no need to do it more than just a second or two. We're just trying to make sure that it's going to work. All right? Thank you. All right, good morning everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna do a video on how to dry fire your nitrous system. Uh, I've been talking about doing this for a few weeks now in previous videos, uh, I just never got around to it. So, a uh, little backstory on that. Uh, I do run a nitrous outlet Stinger 3 plate, uh, usually for you know carbureted deals, um, but I run it on a fuel injection setup as a dry progressive. So yeah, I have fuel injectors and then a throttle body, uh, more like a, an air valve. And um, the Terminator X through Holly EFI is what controls it. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can test your nitrous system out without having to have the vehicle run in, or hopefully it'll help you out in the future if you know you have to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera around and uh, get started. All right. So as you can see, it's a mess, and that's fine. You know. Uh, it'll look a lot nicer here once I once I finish cleaning it up. But what I did was to start with, I plugged my TPS sensor in to my uh, Holly throttle body. I made sure that my engine was grounded, and then that my solenoids had a good ground as well. I don't have anything else hooked up from the Holly to the motor right now because, like I said, this is the mock-up motor. The only part of the Holly that's hooked up is the the nitrous and the and the purge the purge solenoid. That is it. Um, so, with that being said, coming over here to my little laptop, all right, the first thing I did, I do, well, let me, let me back up here, okay, I'm going to start all the way from scratch. All right, so from the beginning, I'm going to open up my Terminator X, all right, open global file, this is that file I told you I made. Uh, just for doing this test, dry fire, dry progressive. That's the test. That's the global file I made to do this test. All right? It's going to bring up this screen. You want to click on your USB link, and it's going to have all these errors because it still has the other tune in here. So I'm going to send this tune file to the ECU. Sync, sync, all that. It's all green. Good to go. All right? And close that deal out. And now it has that test uh, file in here that I made. So I'm going to go over here to my uh, little fuel injector, fuel ICF. I'm going to scroll down. Come on now. All right, I'm going to go to startup enrichment. And then down at the bottom here, you'll see where it says startup settings. I have my clear flood TPS set at 100%. All right? It's having a hard time focusing, I'm sorry. But the purpose of that is to make sure that that is higher than your TPS trigger for the nitrous um, when doing this test. All right? So I'm going to go to my nitrous icon, dry progressive. I have the safeties off. I have my TPS trigger set to 65%. Um, zero RPM, minimum RPM, right? All right, so scrolling down, let me find my mouse. Once you get to progressive control, you have to put something in there. So if you're making this from scratch, it's probably going to start off at zero uh, or something like that. I don't remember, but it has to have something in there. It has to be able to see something. So when you try to test a solenoid, you know, that, 
that percentage is there. If it was just down at the bottom, your solenoid is not going to activate because it's thinking, you know, zero. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You're going to have to set that to, to something. I just used 50 because it was, it was easy. Um, and then going down to added fuel enrichment down, that does not matter. You can keep that at zero because it doesn't matter. All right, we're not testing that. We're testing the solenoid itself. So it needs to be able to see something. And, uh, all right, but yeah. Make sure that you have good grounds. Make sure that your terminator is grounded. You know, you want the terminator completely hooked up um, including the TPS, all the other sensors don't have to be hooked up. Um, but you do want good grounds, obviously, for the Terminator. I run everything, you know, to the battery. Um, so, but just for the purpose of doing this test, since my stuff's not up and running yet, I only hooked up the uh, TPS sensor and then obviously the, the nitrous side. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go test the solenoids now or as I was test the solenoid now I keep saying solenoids because I did run it as a uh, a wet progressive for a while too be right back you can hear the pump right come over here to the throttle and once this thing hits 65 percent that solenoid right there should actuate And that's it that is really it so keep in mind you can do this with a wet progressive as well um, but I would recommend that you disable whatever pump you are using so that it doesn't try to dump a bunch of fuel in your motor uh, or you can loop the fuel line to go straight from feed to return uh, just to keep the fuel out of the motor uh, remember, we're only testing solenoids here. All right, so the test is complete. Everything worked just fine. So now I want to make sure that I put my other tune file back in here because um, I don't want to forget. All right, so I'm going to go over to file. I know that this is the tune file that I had in there previously. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go back to USB link. It's going to throw all those errors again. I'm going to send that tune file to the ECU and everything should come up green, which it does. All right, so now the tune file that's in there is the same as it was in there before I did the test and uh, all is well. Uh, all right, so let me go ahead and uh, get this, uh, this recap going. All right, so basically what you saw me do was use my Holley Terminator X. Um, to dry fire the, the solenoids and only reason I'm doing that is because I rewired the whole car again and I wanted to make sure that my wiring was correct so I have that that, that tune file that I made last year or, yeah I think it was last year um, specifically for doing this because I've rewired this car several times I'm always unhappy with something so well when you rewire stuff you have to test it make sure it works you don't want to get out there on track day and be like oh shit my my nitrous isn't working now I know it's working so my first track day out you know my first outing when I get to the, the new motor back I'll make a couple motor passes you know as long as the tune looks good and you know the data logs good looks good you know I'm, I'm gonna spray it and you know start having fun with it uh, but yeah so just remember have good grounds Make sure your clear fluid is higher than your TPS percentage. Um, and I always turn the safeties off just because that's what was advised to me when I was learning how to do this. Um, and that's it. It's real simple. So, uh, again, you know, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the uh, Berserker Racing YouTube channel. And uh, until next time. Oh, the echoes of